Welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> um, it's been a while since we've done a recipe with you guys. Um, we've just been eating like boring blah chicken and rice and you know boring stuff. But today we are having I don't know what it's called. We'll call it Mexican dip. Um, so you've got right now I'm just browning up some hamburger meat and um, while that's cooking, in here I've got two teaspoons each of cumin, garlic powder, oregano, and chili powder, and I've got about half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can um, change it up to suit your tastes. We don't really, like, I like spicy, but the other people in the house don't like spicy too much. So, I only do like half a teaspoon. So, mix that in, let it cook. I'm going to go ahead and get that all cooked up, and we'll be back. Okay, so I've got everything all cooked, the meat's all cooked, as you can see. And then to this, I'm going to add one can of corn with the juice, in the, or the water, whatever that's in it. I'm going to add that in. And there's a box top on that, so I won't throw it out yet. And then to this... You add a can of drained black beans, which I've got them drained here. And then 15 ounces of tomato sauce. That my store had the small cans on sale, so I'm adding two small cans, or you'd add one normal size can. And then a can of diced green chilies. As you can see, we use the mild. These don't come out easy, so. They have hot diced green chilies, and they've got milds, I think, are the only two they have. That's the only two they had at my store, so. And then on top of that, you're going to put some black olives, some sliced black olives, about two cans of sliced black olives. And then you just stir it all up and let it simmer for about, till about half this juice has uh, gone, till the juice has reduced in it, the corn liquid, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll show you what to do after that. This is like the easiest recipe in the world, just so you know. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so I've let this simmer for about 10 minutes now. And as you can see, the liquid has kind of reduced some. Like there's still a little bit, but that's how you want it. And from this point, there's different variations of what you can do. You can make like a Mexican lasagna where you take this and you scoop it on the bottom, put some cheese and then a tortilla and just layer it up. That's delicious. Oh my gosh, we've done that before. Um, you can make like a burrito with it with some cheese and some sour cream in there and it's really good. You can put it on tacos. You can do whatever you want with this. We like to make a dip with it. So what we'll do is just take a bowl and put a big old honking scoop in there and then some cheese on top. Sorry, let me do this over here so you can see. With a little sour cream because everyone in this family loves sour cream. And then we just take, like, tonight we have Doritos. You can use Tostitos scoops or whatever. We have Doritos tonight. And then you just take it and scoop it and eat it. And it's so good. And this literally took me less than 30 minutes to make. So it's a super simple recipe. I will put the recipe in the description so that you guys can try it. It's so delicious. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Hi guys. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> so dinner was awesome. Yes, it was very good. Yeah. Um, and the recipe is so simple to make. Like, it doesn't beyond take simple. any time at all. Mm-mm. Unless you do like the lasagna because you'll want to cook it a little bit, like just to kind of like 15 minutes in the oven. Mm-hmm. For I think I did 350 yeah. for like 15 minutes just to kind of get all the cheese melted and the like it'll toast up the tortillas a little bit. It's really good. Yeah, everybody like devoured it. There was none left. Yeah. Well, there was a little left for me to take to work. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so probably our next video like last year we did a let's talk about Halloween horror nights. Probably our next video we're gonna do that again. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So. We had a really good time at that. Yeah, it was an awesome time at Halloween yeah. Horror Nights. Um, so, we'll talk all about that in the next video. But. <laughs> um, well, I think that's a, That's our cue to go. Yeah, I think that's our cue to go. <laughs> um, so, I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Yeah. And. Like I said, I'll put the recipe in the description and what you do with it after you make the like main part of it, like the meat and the corn and the beans and all that stuff. Yeah, you don't have to use it as a dip. Yeah, and you can omit the black olives if you don't like black olives. I know people who don't like black olives. <laughs> and um, while I was eating, I remembered they had like diced jalapenos. You could use diced jalapenos instead of the green chilies. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's so good. Like, you can make different variations of it d- based on your taste. So if you like spicy, you can have, you know, the diced jalapenos and use more red pepper flakes. But, like, you know, the kids don't like spicy so yeah, much. Nah. He doesn't either. Yeah. I like a little spicy, but, you know, so. Well, I hope you enjoy it. So I guess we'll talk to you again later. Hold on. Hi, Billy. Hi, Patty. <laughs> and Switch that. Yeah. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you again later. Bye. Bye.